What's up everybody, Goat Toaster 9 JJ Shankles here today. We've come here to answer the question of IBIS versus a gimbal. So the question is, if you have a camera with IBIS like the Nikon Z6 that I'm filming on right now, it has in-body image stabilization with the Z lens, you get five axis image stabilization. Do you really need a gimbal? Today I'm gonna set it out to set out to answer that and my testing methodology to do that. We're gonna go, I'm gonna shoot some B-roll around my desk maybe around the apartment, try to do some different shots. First, I'm gonna do it handheld with the camera, full IBIS on. Then I'm gonna turn IBIS off, mount it to the gimbal and shoot it entirely on the gimbal. We're gonna see how that works. And then, a little bonus at the end, I'm gonna put them both together, do IBIS and gimbal to see how good it looks with both of them combined. This is probably gonna be filmed at 1080p at 120 frames a second because that typically makes it look a little bit smoother. Your micro jitters get slowed down a little bit with some good, pretty slow-mo, some slow-mo, some speed ramps. So we're just gonna throw it all together, see how it looks. First, we've got the IBIS. So that's IBIS. Now it's time to mount on the gimbal. Let's see how it works on there. This is the Feutech AK2000 gimbal. It's their lighter weight DSLR mirrorless camera gimbal. Above that, they do have the AK3000, and then now they have the AK4500 out, which are two higher level tiers. They carry more weight, but they're both very stable, very smooth gimbals. Slightly more features that come on the higher end, but this one is great if you just want it to be smooth buttery smooth footage. I really like this. The mechanical, this one can balance out much larger jitters. So let's see how it really affects your small jitters in a B-roll film. Now let's see how it works with the gimbal. And that's that. Now I think we should put them together. I think it's good to see what the full combination of with the AK2000 and the five axis in body image stabilization of the Nikon to see how they look together. I think it's amazing what these work, what these do in conjunction, how they work together. It's just beautifully smooth what cameras can do nowadays for relatively cheap packaging and for gimbals are getting cheaper and more powerful every day. Even for small time YouTubers like me, I try to have really smooth footage. I think it's really good to not give the viewer any headaches through just shaking the camera around. That's not pretty, that's not gonna be good looking. If you really want that cinematic look, kinda hate that word in 2019, it's way overused. But if you wanna make a good looking video, avoiding that shake is really important. So this is the comparison between the IBIS and the gimbal. Let's put them together.
that's how they look together. I think it's not important what I think, it's what you think about it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below what you think, what you like better, and overall how it looks when I put them together. I would say I'm not the best videographer out there, I'm not going to be the best at hand holding it, not the best with a gimbal, but this is what it can be for someone who's getting started, really wants to do their best and really take the, taking the time. Was IBIS good enough for you? If it is, you don't need to spend money on a gimbal just to get a little bit smoother because the IBIS really does work well. If you want to take it up to that next level, the gimbal is really good. And the video of just gimbal and no IBIS was if you could buy a cheaper camera that doesn't have the in-body stabilization, doesn't have an image stabilization in the lens, and you put it straight on the gimbal, that's what kind of footage you can get. Really fairly smooth footage, and it's a one-time buy instead of buying every lens with vibration reduction in it or one camera that's even more expensive because it has internal VR. But then that last footage is when you put them together and see how smooth both of them work together. So let me know how you liked it. Let me know in the comments which, which was your favorite and what you think about these things. And always while you're down there, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. It's really exciting to see how quickly this channel is growing and to see the support around it. Uh, thank you guys. Hope you have an amazing day. Go Toaster out.